Hi, good morning, girls. Hang on. I'm trying to get us set here. There you go. Okay. Good morning. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so I've got the camera flip, so we're gonna still so looks like my I'm testing out something here real quick. <clears throat> I got a new toy that actually allows me to mount this phone onto the table in front of me, but it looks like I have to read this way, um, so that's not going to work. So fine, hang on, we're going to flip, give me a second here, sorry about this, okay, yeah. Technology is not my friend. Hold on, I am so sorry. Okay. There we go. Okay, good morning, girls. Oh, goodness. I bought a new toy this weekend that uh, will allow me to mount the phone onto the table. It's got this little clippy thing. And um, morning, Kimberly. Great to have you out. Um, but I brought this, bought this clip thingy, and the funny part about it is, it's, I think it has a mind of its own, if you were honest with you. So, good morning, happy Monday, I'm glad you're here with me this morning, and it's going to be a great day. Um, we've got a great topic for this morning, um, challenging topic, because what happens so many times, especially as women, we start comparing ourselves to each other or to somebody else. So we may look, trying to figure out, can you even see? Okay, I guess so. Okay, we're good. All right. Sorry, it's this whole adjusting. Now. I had a makeshift holder, uh, actually a picture holder, one of those things that fold. I actually put it on there for a while, and now it's on the script thingy that is supposed to be easy to swivel and it's really hard plus it's pink I don't think we knew that when we got it because uh, Greg would flip he'd be like I thought it was black and now it's pink and I guess it's mine <laughs> so anyhow but uh, today's topic is one that is definitely a challenge for most people because sometimes we see people that are successful and maybe we're struggling and the the bad part about that <clears throat> is success is defined by each person in a different way so your perspective perspective of success and mine are going to be totally different so you need to define what your definition of success is what would it look like in your life if you were successful? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, sinuses are just a little bit crazy today. So the question comes in when we're talking about, okay, we identify people that might be successful in our eyes based on whatever it is that we're looking to achieve in life or whatever we've defined success as. But then... What happens and where we get into a lot of trouble is we start comparing ourselves to those people or to other people around us. Have you gone in and been around other women, whether they're entrepreneurs, moms, um, people serving in the church, doesn't matter, and you go in and you start beating yourself up and you start comparing yourself to them. You start looking at them saying, if I could only if I look like, if I acted like, if I talk like, if I had what they have, who they are. If I could only be them. And do you know that that is a dangerous place to be in your life? Because we're not supposed to be comparing ourselves to each other. Okay? Not comparing and that's an area where it gets real easy because, especially in business, we start comparing ourselves to other people and wondering, 
why we don't have the same clients, why we aren't making as much money, you know, why, why, why? And I'm going to share today some scriptures that will help explain why we shouldn't be comparing. Because number one, comparison is going to cause paralyzation. Comparison creates failure. Comparison shuts you down. Comparison steals your joy. Because, see, there's a difference between being aware and then comparing. See, in business, we want to be aware of who other people are in our industry. Because we want to know what they're doing, how it's working for them. But we don't compare ourselves to them. We don't copy them. Because God made us unique and individual. And that's who we need to be. So we also know that comparison will steal your joy. Because once you start comparing yourself to somebody else, you all of a sudden lose that joy and happiness in you. What if you could just be you? What if you could just be you? Who you are uniquely gifted and created by God. What if? Imagine a time in your life, imagine today, where you no longer look in the mirror at yourself and say, if I was only as pretty as, or if I was only as smart as, or if I had what so-and-so has. What if we started our day instead of saying, what ifs, we got up and said, Lord, I love that, Lisa. Beautiful. Let expectation go and just share your unique gifts. Amen. Exactly. Because you know what? God has gifted each one of us in a different way. And he's called us at a different time to do different things. So what we get caught up in is the craziness that the world thinks that we're supposed to follow. And we need to stop it. It's madness. It ruins your life. It ruins your joy. It steals your peace. Girls, you've got to trust God and believe that whatever he's given you is powerful. Because, oh, Lord knows, if I sit there and compare myself to other people that do video, to other people that teach the word of God, guess what? I'd stop. I wouldn't do this no more. I'd go back to sitting in a cubbyhole and just being me in a corner, all pathetic and a hermit. But God has called us to so much more girls. Theodore Roosevelt said, Comparison is the thief of joy. Don't let it go. Don't lose your joy. Our joy is found through Jesus Christ. And through him we are unique. And through him we are gifted. And through him we were called. So let's talk about what the Bible says real quick. Because I don't want to keep you all morning. Because you know I could. Because I just love sharing what God's doing. But let's look at a couple of these verses. Galatians 6, 4 and 5. Each of you must examine your own actions. Then you can be proud of your own accomplishments without comparing yourselves to others. Assume your own responsibility. That was Galatians 6, 4, and 5. 2 Corinthians 10, 12. We wouldn't put ourselves in the same class with or compare ourselves to those who are bold enough to make their own recommendations. Certainly when they measure themselves by themselves, and they compare themselves to themselves, they show how foolish they are. So what I do know in business, there's a lot of coaches out there that'll say, ooh, blah, 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 right? And you look at them, you're going, oh my gosh, they're amazing. Look what they're doing. The truth is most of them aren't doing it. Why do I know that? Because I've supported some of them. The truth is they struggle just like you and I. But see, <clears throat> they come from a place where... They talk as if they're already there. So we need to act like, we talked about this last week, act like we're royalty. We are given those garments from Christ. We are saved by him. We are his children. We are the bride. We need to act like it. And when we talk about comparison, a child, a, somebody of royalty is not going to compare themselves to somebody else. They are set apart, they are called, and they just get it done. And that's our challenge today. So, 1 Thessalonians 4, 11 and 12 is one more. 
in there it says, <clears throat> And you that study to be quiet and to do your own business and to work with your own hands, we commanded you that you may walk honestly toward them that are without and that ye may have a lack of nothing. Some of this is King James and I apologize. I really should have done it all in the same verse. But we also know that comparison can lead to envy. I like these little hearts that are flying across. Very distracting, but really cool. Uh, envy. James 3.16 For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder in, in everything we're doing. So we don't want to envy somebody else for what they have or where they're at. We're to be set apart from this world. So why are we comparing ourselves? So the way the world compares uh, them. So when we look at comparing each other, what's happening in the world is the world says, I have to look like Lisa. We're going to use Lisa because I know you're there and you've been commenting. I have to look like Lisa to be successful. That's not what God said. He said we're unique, we're special. That's the world's viewpoint is, I have to look like Lisa to be successful. But what God's viewpoint, and that's what's important, girls, is what God has to say about us. Good morning, Judith. Love you, honey. Hope you're doing well today. Um, we are to be set apart. As women of God, you're to be set apart. So Romans 2, 12, 2. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transferred by the, transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what the true will of God is what is good and acceptable and perfect. In 1 John 2.15, 2, it tells us, Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So there's so many amazing verses in the Word. You know, we look at, we're not supposed to live for people. Philippians 2.3 do not ha do not act out selfish ambition or be conceited. Instead, humbly think of others as better than yourself. Galatians 1.10 Am I saying this now to win the approval of people or God? Am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be Christ's servant. And then Isaiah, Isaiah 2.22 Stop regarding man in which who's not... <laughs> I'm sorry... I read this one ahead, and now I'm, I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny, but it is. Isaiah 2, 22. Stop regarding man in whose nostrils is breath, for what account is he? <clears throat> so, bottom line is, girls, when we look at everything, stop comparing yourself to the other person. And I'll list all these verses, um, and I'll also do a, a blog for it um, sometime this week. I know I'm going to get one up on Friday's topic because Facebook shut me down because uh, I believe the message was so strong that uh, the enemy didn't want you to know that you're amazing. He really doesn't. Because if you know you're amazing and you are empowered, you're unstoppable. Did you know that? As women of God, if you are empowered and surrounded with other like-minded women that can build you up instead of tear you down, you are unstoppable. Isn't that exciting? So anyhow, that's another topic. And uh, But girls, just please today, take a look at what you're saying. And don't compare yourself to the other person. Because trust me, you've been called. You've been gifted. And there is a purpose for your life. And if you don't know what it is, ask God. He will show you. But don't compare yourself to the other person, to another sister, to somebody in the world. Compare yourself to what the Word of God tells you. Period. That's the only thing that matters. And then stand true to who you are. Stand in your faith. Stand on the foundation that Jesus Christ has given us, and that is the Bible. All right, girls. I'm looking here. Awesome. Please check out the quote Lisa just put in for us um, from Teddy Roosevelt. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and read this so you can give me one more minute here. 
It's not the critic that counts, not the man who pints out how strong. Let's see, aware, the doer deeds. I can't read this, I'm so sorry, because it's too small of a print. <laughs> I've got to go get new glasses. Um, but take a look at the, the quote that Lisa put from Teddy Roosevelt. Awesome. Um, but there you go. Awesome. Lisa, I'm so glad you joined us. I love the interaction from y'all. I hate to pause when I'm and try to read them all, but I want to read y'all and greet y'all because I'm excited to have you out this morning. But I hope today's message and morning minutes really just gave you some inspiration to leap forward in whatever God's called you to do. Then maybe it's changed your mindset for the day. And maybe now you can jump out there and just be who you are. Be amazing. Because girls, you're, you're amazing. You're beautiful. And you're perfectly made in God's image. He created you. And God doesn't make mistakes. Don't ever forget that. All right. So, no more comparison today. There's your challenge. All right, be sure you guys join me over in Healthy Mindset Cafe here on Facebook. Go to RobinHardy.net. Get your Today I Will Thrive free gift. And then we're going to be launching a webinar probably towards the begin at the beginning of September. That's going to, I believe we're going to be calling it Breathe. And it's going to teach you how to be able to get through your day and thrive as a woman of God. But more details on that. Get registered on the website, though, because you'll get first notification. And then make sure you join us at Healthy Mindset Cafe um, over here on Facebook. And uh, be part of that conversation, too. All right, girls. Bye-bye. Be blessed.